Hey collective, happy solar day. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. It's the Pisces High Priestess and we're going to get into today's timeless channel planetary message for the energies of the sun and its connection to our solar plexus. So let's get into it. I do feel like um, you're slowing down. So there's some feminine energy coming back towards you. Um, just kind of like in the way that you move, you can notice uh, feminine energy is kind of like slow, taking your time. You're like doing everything. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing a lyric from a song. She takes her time doing the littlest things. Yeah. You know, like rushing, like ah, bum rushing things over, rushing and always like running late. I don't know. So I kind of feel like you're just kind of in flow with life or something happened. You, you're not in a rush. So maybe you kind of get caught up with life or bills are dead, but you cut you because you're not, uh, you don't feel like you're in this rat race really playing catch up. Of course, it's still things that need to get done, but it doesn't seem like you're trying to catch up. So I feel like you settled things in the past or debt. So now the only things you need to worry about is the future. I feel like before you were in a mode where you had to still worry about the past. You had to worry about the past and the future. And that became overwhelming. So yeah, it's like now really the only thing you got to worry about is the future. Maybe even, maybe this is somebody who's trying to just date and start over. Maybe it's like your, uh, the, um, <laughs> I was going to say the person of your kids. Mother or father goes each way of your kids. It's just like, um, all of these are backwards and it's really don't irritate me. But, um, but yeah, maybe it's like you couldn't just focus on your new relationship, focus on the new. You also have to focus on the old and the new. And it was just like a lot. Um, uh, this could have been because of certain energies did not want the future or something in the future to develop for you. But let's get into it. The sun card. I mean, the sun. The sun's energy. Yeah, literally, your friends are jealous of your relationship. <laughs> you got that wet, wet. Whoa. <laughs> so, the sun rising. So, somebody it's like, I don't know. could be, like, hard. I don't know. <laughs> Risen with the sun. Yeah. I ain't going to lie to you. Someone's like... It has an erection or something for you. It's like, yeah, reminiscing. Okay, so um, there's somebody in your energetic field that's highly attracted to you right now, like physically highly attracted to you, like a lot. I feel like the thought of you for somebody does it, just the thought of you or the visual. <laughs> the page of wands. Yeah, the sun. So you change something, you look different. Or you can you can change things. Maybe you got like a new hair color or something. Uh but yeah, you're in the sun energy where I just feel like too, it's a lot of eyes on you. People are noticing you when you walk into a building, your aura has really expanded. It's like um really touching the people that are around you. Strangers, just everybody. Yeah, you're in balance. You don't, again, you kind of don't really feel. So maybe I feel like too, this could also be somebody else who they were wondering about. The, the the past or the future because the page of wands talks about good news or exciting news or the possibility of something being exciting or the possibility of a new start the ace of wands is like for sure a new start the page of um the ace of wands yeah it's for sure like a new start um the page of wands is sometimes just the possibility of it so somebody could have even been thinking about um the possibility of maybe where an ex or past relationship or something in the past, the possibility of where it could go. But I feel like the future looks better because the past is only a possibility or this is what you're thinking. So I feel like someone's looking at the situation or they're looking at the, the pros and cons and yeah, the past is only 
um, what I just say, the path is only a, um, I don't even know. I, it's like I forgot what I just said, but whatever I just said is what I said. That's that's how they feel about the past. The past is um just oh the past is only a possibility, but what someone's looking at at the future with you, there's certainty there. There's certainty when they think about a future with you. There's only a possibility with somebody else or something else. You have hidden talents. So you're finding out some new talents with yourself. So maybe even new hobbies. You have hidden knowledge. So uh, a lot of hidden. So you're getting, yeah, so a lot of clarity. The sun talks about it too. The sun talks about illumination. Hmm. I wonder what's the difference then, because we know the star card or the opposite of Leo with the sun, the star card talks about um, a revelation. It talks about um, I know and, and like that. Um, the star card talks about too, talks about, um, ultimate evelation, like reaching God, becoming like a, a living God in a way, like God consciousness, Christ consciousness. To me, the star card is more like a mentally, like a, an evolution of like our consciousness so what is the sun then what is what type of illumination is that but i mean our solar plexus yeah two brains our solar plexus our gut is also a brain too so your instinct your gut instincts get better you're gonna feel like you have your compass back your moral compass just your inner uh guidance you kind of um yeah, you meet back with yourself. Uh, you feel kind of alive again. You do. Somebody, again, um, I want to... <laughs> I'm really focused on this reading being about you, but I can't help the fact that somebody is really loving the energy that you possess. And um, they they feel like themselves the most when they're around you. So, again, this kind of could be somebody where, like, y'all match up. You have become the highest version of yourself and you attracted the highest version of yourself, not only energetically in you, but also in physical form. In physical form, someone's like also you. So you have attracted yourself, the other half of you. Uh, you have perfect body. Somebody could feel like you have a perfect body. You have divine masculine. Uh, perfect body, perfect frame, or something like that. Like All these cards are backwards. It's really going to bother my brain. Let's see, anything else? If I get some more tarot, oh, it's going to bother me so bad, so bad, so bad. Hmm. Wow, I want to be you. A lot of different energy. Yeah, someone's definitely thinking about the future with you. That um maybe a son. Someone's thinking about what is the I want to be you. That's so weird. I was getting earlier that uh some of y'all should do a, a egg cleanse. There's a card in here that talks about egg cleanse. Evil, like what? <laughs> Friends to foes. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so tired of these people, y'all. I am so tired of it gaslighting so yeah this could be somebody who just yeah wanted you to to not trust your gut really was trying to to kill that out of you um your spirit or like your solar plexus and attack on there um because you're not crazy you know that somebody yeah psychic attack you know that someone they um they don't they don't treat you the best or they didn't treat you the best but it's very underhanded, very, very, very underhanded, very covert. There was never enough proof. It was always like 
Am I, am I, no, you're not crazy. Somebody else could be because if they don't like you, I'm not really sure why they want to be around you. So maybe somebody in the past, uh, they felt like they just, but you bring opportunity, right? You bring growth. You are the sun. So naturally the plants and everything is going to gravitate towards you. Money, everything is going to gravitate towards you. So, um, you know, I just seen, you know what I just seen, you know, baseball, I don't even understand baseball, but you know, baseball, when like one of the players hits the ball really hard and it starts to go into like where the fans are and they're trying to catch it. It's like the ball's coming right in your direction, but then you have everybody else trying to hurry up and get in your section to see if they could grab the ball. It's it's like something's like that. <laughs> it's like they want to be where you are because you have so much coming towards you. They want to be close enough to you, um, whether it be a friend or whatever. They want to be close enough to you so that I don't know who who will catch it. Will it be them that catches it or me? Whatever it is, whatever the ball is, whether it's money, opportunities, a man. Oh, a man. Okay, well, I'm standing next to them. It's either going to be them or me. And I feel like maybe somebody's hurt because baby is you every single time. Hmm. I also feel like somebody, uh, uh, they're getting a, some, <laughs> then we're going to get back to the love. But somebody could be getting a taste of reality. Reality? Because, and it's not your fault. I, I, feel, I feel like someone too... Ooh, my friends think you fine as fuck. So uh, a person that loves you, <laughs> their friends like, yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah, yeah. Over my ex, if you wonder, someone's like over their ex. Um, now mind you, this person could try to put things in your head. Understand that you could, yeah, gang stalking, be under like psychic attack. Don't nobody want you to have this or be with this person. Come on now. You know how, how many people want this person? Or or you? I feel like this other person feels the same way. You know how many people want you? So, of course, they're going to say things. Of course, they're going to whatever. Like, of course. Like, that's just what comes with it. And this person don't care, though. They don't, they don't care. But, um... I feel like somebody was very, again, a friend, family member, cousin, but they were very boastful. They, I, I can't even beat around the bush. They basically, they were around you. So if you didn't know, they were around you or they befriended you because they, I'm not saying this and I don't think you think this either. And actually the world doesn't think it either. That's what we're going to talk about, the reality of it. But this person wanted to be close to you or be friends with you because they thought they're better than you. They thought they were better than you. And they would even maybe say certain things, sly little comments or whatever, to kind of make it known like, yeah, I'm better than you in a way. And I kind of thought you let them have it. You didn't really... I, I, I mean, you're so confident it could have even just kind of took you a while to figure out like, oh, they're talking about me or somebody else. It's one of those things where... um. You walk in with like a um a slick back ponytail and Nikes and they're like, Oh my god, I hate people that wear slick back ponytail and Nikes and they're so ugly to me and they huh, they think they're gonna get everything in life, but huh, they'll wait, wait and see. And you're like, Wait, you talking about me because I have a they're like, No, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not talking about you. Okay, bitch. Um I, I mean if you are just say that. Are you scared? Cause why are you lying? Y'all know how I feel about lying. Lying is all rooted from fear. Well, what are you what are you scared of? And if you are scared of my reaction, why do you keep testing me? Do you like to live in a constant state of fear? What or what what is it? But um but I feel like you let them have it. When they would say things, you just kinda like, oh okay, okay. I'm this, I'm that. I, you let them have their confidence. Cause maybe sometimes it wasn't always little hints of them being better than you. It was just them simply speaking on their confidence and I feel like a you I feel like you don't like when other people like when you when you speak on your confidence like yeah I'm this yeah I'm that you hate when other people take offense to it you ever speak good about yourself and then somebody else takes offense to it 
they be getting mad that you're saying good things about yourself and it's like why are you mad Or yeah, it's like, yeah, I get this, uh-huh, people do this for me, niggas do that for me, yep, uh-huh, and you be saying it, and somebody's mad, why are you mad? Because they can't get it like you, but, um, but yeah, so when this person would do this and all of that, you let them have it, because yeah, like, talk your, talk your stuff, absolutely, but then when you would get out in the real world, Again, because mind you, this person, they think that they're better than you. You never contested, no, you're not better than me. I'm better. Or no, you're not better than me. I think we're on the same level. You didn't say anything. But see, what always happens is the universe and the world speaks for you, speaks for you. So you go out, um, you get more attention. Even if, let's just say, maybe somebody physically, they got certain things that by traditional standard of the world is deemed more attractive than you. It doesn't matter. Um, it's you. It's your inner. I don't think people understand how much energy, like what that does to somebody being attractive. But, um, yeah, so you would go out, you would get more attention. You never spoke on the world was showing this person in front of you. That, hey, you may think that you're better than the viewer, but the world does not think this. Reality is the world doesn't agree with you. It's not even the view. It's not even you, viewer. It's not even you who's saying, nah, you're not better than me. No, no, no. It's, you don't got to say anything. Shut up. You ain't got to say nothing. Just, shh, shh. you ain't got to say nothing. It is the world. And that's why it breaks this person's ego the most because it's not you. You don't got to say nothing. It is the world actively showing them like, oh my God, I thought I was better. But dang, every time we go out, they get more attention. Every time this, they get picked. Every time that, they get, hmm, now, now I feel weird. If somebody, so maybe somebody started being weird to you because of this or jealousy. I feel like they feel even more weird because, oh my gosh. This just reminded me that that show is back on Netflix. Oh, now I feel like I have something to do with my evening. But um, besides film, but <laughs> but um, yeah, somebody could honestly feel pretty. I don't know. Maybe this is somebody who could change. But somebody feels pretty weird about themselves because they know that their actions aren't really justifiable. Like they know that they're being. And maybe they never felt, see, this this why your karma. They've never felt like this. They're like, dang, like I'm 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 straight up being a hater. Like I really am a hater, huh? Cause before they could lean on other things, you know, other people defended themselves. Girl, you're not better than me. Da, 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 that's why da, da, da. And they do all this stuff and yell at them, and then the person will always come out looking like the angel or whatever. You don't say anything. Right? So if this person to were, were to attack you back, it, it's completely unjustified because you weren't defending yourself. I, I didn't say, no, I'm better than you or no, we're on the same level. I didn't say that. And it come out of my mouth. I feel like, so I don't know, I feel like also too, it's like a situation where somebody else is gloating on you and people are getting mad at you. Why are you getting mad at them? I don't, like, what's the, this is, this reminds me of uh, when, um, that one interview that Lil Dark did. And I don't know. He always speaks about this. And I, and honestly, let me actually no, Daniel, shut up. <laughs> Sorry, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say hypothetically, because I love her. I love my Pisces sister. I don't want to be bad on her. All I'm gonna say is, before I say what I'm gonna say, all I'm gonna say is, if if a Pisces really wants to hide something and not have nobody find out, they'll make it happen. Because it's just something so undercover about the things in a Pisces life. Um, like certain things get wiped away. But this reminds me of when uh, Lil Dark did an interview. And he was basically saying like, which that's so weird of him, but that's him. That's him. It's not her. It's not his girlfriend. It's him. But he was saying like, yeah, one of the things that uh, he really liked about um, his girl was that like she only had a, a body count of three or something or whatever so everybody got mad or whatever and they were kind of like getting mad at her and I was like why are you getting mad at her he the one who said it 
whether if it's true or not, or people feel like, oh, she lying, whether if it's true or not, or whatever, that's how he felt. Get mad at him. <laughs> it's not her fault that, that that's just what it is, <laughs> or something, or even if it's not. But I said that, I said that because, yeah, Pisces, if we really want something to really not be known about, it won't be. Because our lives are just naturally set up that way. Like, um... Like, she has a kid by Lil Durk and she has a kid by her other baby daddy. But her first baby dad passed away. So, I mean, technically, who who really has the other side of stories? Who really has the other side of certain stories? Um, Y'all also feel like a situation where you, yeah, the universe is make sure that you're detached completely from the situation or I don't, I don't really know. I'm sorry. I have to just get the message out. Or I feel like this is for for you. You get in a situation where somebody else is completely detached. They're there. They were attached, but not really. Something's like a, a oddball, unique situation that kind of works to your benefit, but it's kind of fucked up because it's like, ooh, I'm not happy about this, but it is messed up. So it's like one of those things. Maybe it's like, oh, I will never date a baby daddy. The, the baby mama have to be dead. And she is. I don't, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's something like that. It's like, I will never do that unless all traces of the past were gone and that's what it is or something like that um but yeah even if it is or not or lying we would never know she's a pisces we would never know who's there to vouch or not i mean same thing with me i don't really have like friends in the past from my life now it, it, it's a two-handed sword though because because of that um friends or groups of friends and families they can the the and that's why if you're kind of alone or being in isolation that's why it happens to you a lot you're an easy target and that's how you know these people are cowards and they're scary it's easy to slander somebody's name when they don't really have anybody because who's going to come to your defense who's going to speak on your behalf nobody so it's easy for them to say oh the viewer they're this kind of person they've done this they've done that they because you have no record of anything behind you. So they try to make something up. Don't worry. All, all that gets like demolished. But on a better end of it, that means that you can become whoever you want to be. Dude, you have no track record. You have no something like, I don't know. I like saying with me, um, honestly, honestly, the only reason why y'all even knew that I was, um, well, I probably would have told y'all eventually, but eventually would have never came. Um, cause I would have told y'all like eight months or something and I make it to eight months. So eventually would have never came. But, um, the only reason why I told y'all, um, a little bit is because I was down bad and I needed help, but y'all did give me help and I will always love y'all for that. But, um, realistically, if I kept that to myself, nobody would ever know that I was ever pregnant. I could literally be lying. Like, yeah, I've never had a... I mean, I had a C-section, so I can't really lie. I mean, there's proof with that. But, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Pisces, or maybe there's a placement. It's like, if we really want to hide something, we can hide something. Because life is just kind of already set up that way. Everything I went through last year, there's, like, literally no traces of it, for real. It was a fever dream. That's why this shit's so freaky. It's like, sometimes I wake up, I'm like, did I... Huh? I don't know. Then I look at my baby's crib and stuff. I'm like, what happened? It's like whiplash. The Seven of Pentacles. I don't know. That's not this energy I'm getting from you, though. Let me pull it up. Because there is no past, for real. I, so I just kind of feel like you're free or something. Even if there is a past, you're still being freed from it in a way. I don't know. Yeah, but I definitely feel like um, somebody's gloating on you. You're not saying anything. Or the world, you're going to have the world speaking. You're going to be like patronized. The world speaking and saying how great you are. And you're not saying it. 
but people are mad because of this. So I don't know, I guess Princess Diana also experienced this. She's not going around saying she's Mother Teresa. She's great, this great person. The world is just showing actively in front of what her husband's face showing that they prefer her over him. She's not saying it. The world is though. That's why it hurts. Because that's the reality of the situation. Yeah, behind walls and everything, we can act like and we could say, or when with they, when they, with that group of friends, yeah, uh huh, you better than that that girl, uh huh, yep, yeah, mm hmm, shame, mm. but the reality, it's not that. And the Ace of Swords. I don't know, your homeboy think they better than you or something like that, or, yeah. Maybe because of something that got going on online, and yeah, that's cool, but I don't know, the reality. <laughs> yeah, so let somebody gloat on you, because I kind of feel like you almost want to tell somebody, um... Like, stop, stop it, stop, stop it. No, don't say that, don't. Because you, like, you know people will attack you. Like, no, don't. No, stop saying, stop showing me attention, stop. I feel like you don't even like the attention. Or you're out and you see a couple and you just, you be in your head thinking like, man, please don't look at me. I just, I don't even want to fit, I don't feel like dealing with, like, the evil eye, the jealousy from your girlfriend, this or whatever, you like, yeah, you, you don't like want to like hide or something. So shine, you, you have no choice but to shine, shine. Your abundance is there. You, you like, you be wanting to hide it. Yeah, the queen of pentacles and the empress, but yeah, the, the high priestess, you be wanting to hide it. But like I said, you don't, there though I, I still get that too somebody your life naturally is just certain things are untraceable I don't know why that is and I feel like with all of that you're still honest you could lie and get away with it you could absolutely lie and get away with that shit but you still just decide to be authentic you could, but you could lie though, cause there's no proof, or there's no solid proof. Pinnacle, there's no factual. There's there's assumption only, or whatever. There's no trace of it. There's nothing. You could say, yeah, I've never done that. I've never. Yep, nope, nope, nope. But you don't. Yeah. That's a good thing to do because that's going to help you sleep at night. Imagine creating a fake persona that people gloat about and they love that, but that's not really you. And you got to go to sleep every night knowing that people don't really love you. They, they like the lies. And you got to wake up and put on the mask every day. For some of y'all, you're like, yeah, that, that kind of felt like my past. I'm not doing it again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 absolutely. But still shine, though, shine. Not only for yourself, but for others, because whatever happens, if if your light does disrupt certain things, maybe that should have happened. Um, Yeah, you're a little uncomfortable with your light, though. I'm definitely getting that. You you are uncomfortable with your light. I, I feel like you're comfortable with it when you're with yourself. But then when you step out in the real world, you're reminded like, oh, I really do have a light. You know you have a light. But to see how people like react to you or something like that, or maybe your person... Like, you know, you know who you date and you're like, yeah, I know my person. I know who I'm dating. But then like, um, maybe y'all really aren't in settings where y'all like in public 
uh, or just like doing normal mundane things, pumping gas and stuff or whatever. Like, yeah, this is like one of those things where like, I don't know, you, you and your, um, friend or whoever, boy, I don't know what a friend or person you're dating or whoever, they're like, yeah, meet me at the gas station. Like, we'll pump gas together or I'll buy your gas or whatever. Da, 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 da. So, you go, y'all both go to the gas station, but y'all in different cars. So, nobody knows that y'all together. And this person sees, like, people coming up to you asking for your number. They see people, like, like they see how people react to you. They're like, oh, my God. So, maybe that's somebody, that makes somebody wants to hold on, hold on tighter. They're like, uh, yeah, watch out for, like, the pregnancy. They're like, oh, I got a trap. <laughs> because why people give yeah, the night of swords? Somebody, like, I got to think fast. Because, uh-uh, my baby too fine. My baby way too fine. They on that ass. Yeah, the three <laughs> Yeah. You, you, you don't notice it, though. You're just like, la, 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 la. There's like the knight of wands behind you. Somebody could kind of be uh, worried about you, too. The fact that you don't notice or understand the, um the effect that you have on people and then it's almost like pay, pay attention to your surroundings be careful okay i'm gonna leave it here y'all if you felt like this message resonated on a deeper level and you wanted more insight regarding your own personal situation then be sure to click the first link in the description box to book a personal session with me. Um, yeah, happy solar day again. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.